Welcome to Sacred Fame Podcast. I'm Kasha Rashfall, energy magician and healer for intuitive leaders. Sacred fame is the art and science of seeing and knowing and being yourself so that you can be seen, known, and paid for doing the things you love and making an impact in the world. Welcome to Sacred Fame Podcast. This is Kasha Rashfall. I'm so excited to be here with you today. I want to talk about this whole idea that purpose doesn't actually matter. I know it's kind of a potentially controversial topic um, because there is so much out there in our personal development community around knowing your purpose, making sure you're spot on with it, even as far as having a beautiful little sentence that allows you to, you know, put it on your mirror, put it on your computer, read it every day so that you are aligned with your purpose. I'm here to tell you that another perspective is that it actually doesn't matter what your purpose is because you can't not fulfill it. Just by the virtue of you being alive, you being here on earth, doing your thing, living your life, you are fulfilling that purpose. And that's what I wanna talk about today. So um, why is this topic important? Because I see it in every single session that I have with a client. It comes up in pretty much every single Akashic Records reading that I do. People feel like if they just knew what their purpose was, they would feel enough. They would feel whole. They would feel worthy. They would feel successful. They would feel like um, their life makes a difference, like they're contributing. And I'm here to tell you and to propose this different perspective that it's not because of your purpose that you feel enough or whole or successful or um, like you're worthy. It's because you are those things and your purpose is simply something for your mind to connect with so that you mentally have an understanding of why you're here. So I'm not saying purpose isn't important where it's important, but it is not the end all be all. It is not the magic wand or the unicorn that we all seek that will solve everything. Like there is no such thing. And I'm saying, what if your purpose wasn't important? Because there are other ways of looking at success, at contribution, at worthiness, at being seen and feeling like you are of service in the world then through that lens of purpose. So uh, I have a bit of a rant about this actually, so if I get passionate, bear with me here. Um, I hate, I really hate that in many of the um, personal development and coaching and even healing or spiritual circles out there, purpose has been given this almost deity status where it's like the thing people long for the most. And I've definitely been done that too, where I thought, you know, the reason I feel like I'm not enough or I'm uh, failing in this, that, or the other in my life or, or in my work is because I don't know what my purpose is. But I've come to realize since, especially through my work with the Akashic Records and through numerology and soul agreements, is that purpose is just one tiny, tiny, tiny aspect of living life, showing up, being yourself, seeing yourself, and contributing in all the different ways that you already do. And then the purpose kind of takes care of itself. I recently taught the introduction course that I have on how to read your own Akashic Records and chart your purposes. And that was the, the thing that the students walked away from. And some of the feedback that I received at the end of the second class was that, wow, I feel like I don't even have to worry about my purpose. Like it's kind of this thing that I can sort of keep on the shelf, know that I'm taking care of it and just go back to doing me. And to me, that is music to my ears. That's what fills my soul because in order to, to feel like you're contributing in the world, in order to feel fulfilled, in order to feel joyful or happy, which is really why we do anything, right? Why, why do you do the things you do? Why do you work in the work that you work? Why do you have the relationships you have? You know, why do you eat the things you eat? Why do you exercise? Like why have experiences like holidays and purchase things? Because of how they make you feel, right? Bottom line is because we do what we do and we have the experiences we want to have because of how they make us feel. So imagine if you could know and and embody, not just know intellectually, but that's often where it begins. If you could know that every single thing you do 
the person you become as a result of living your life and serving the people you serve through your work, whether you have a business, uh, you're a professional, um, an employee, it doesn't matter. But by showing up to life, by growing and expanding, whether it's through pleasure or pain and everything in between, that you are checking off the, the purposes for why you're here. And the Akashic Records, that there's often, um, like inevitably, probably three out of four clients will come with the question, what's my purpose? And over the years, the Akashic Records have said, well, first of all, you have more than one. And second of all, if you want the truth of like the purpose with a capital P, you know, why are we here? It's to, to grow and to thin the veil between your soul and your human self. So let's expand on that a little bit. If we presuppose that the soul resides in the all that is, and the all that is is love, right? Whatever you want to call it, creator, universe, spirit, if that is absolute love, and that's why it created all these um, aspects of our universe, then it limits itself into a human body to experience itself through the lens of limitation. And the, the closer the human self gets to that place of love, both for the self and for others, the closer that it's the, the human being is becoming to being like the soul, right? So the soul resides within the universe. It incarnates into a body, thereby limiting itself, forgetting that it's absolute love, that it's already worthy, that it's already whole and divine. And then by living life, by having experiences, by having relationships, by you know doing things, it learns. The human being learns, right? You learn, I learn. And again, sometimes we learn by falling down and making a whole shit ton of mistakes and uh, hopefully getting back up and learning through them, right? And sometimes we learn by having these beautiful, joyful, expansive, um, breathtaking breakthroughs and transformations that include a lot of love and joy innately, right? So we learn by falling down, by getting back up again, and by having more fun, more pleasure, all of that, the gamut, right, the spectrum. And so this is why this topic is important, because a lot of the clients that I get to work with really struggle with this, because what happens when you don't feel like you you know your purpose? Well, the, the biggest things really are you feel like you might be failing, or you feel like you've made a lot of mistakes, or you might feel like you're not on track, you're not getting the results that you want whether it's in your life, your work, right? I work with a lot of professionals. And so um, sometimes if they feel like they're not on purpose, they feel like they might even be in the wrong career or doing the wrong things or they feel stagnated or uh, burnt out. So when you feel like you don't know your purpose, that's how it can sometimes show up is you feel like you're doing something wrong in your life, in your relationships, in your work, right? And how you're serving and, and even in how you're treating yourself, how you're um, receiving or how you're taking care of yourself. It can just feel like you're wrong and, and you can't quite put your finger on why. So imagine putting down this whole idea of, of that your purpose and knowing your purpose is the magic wand that would magically fix all of those feelings of feeling wrong, feeling off track, feeling burnt out, feeling like you're not worthy, even um, even imposter syndrome, feeling like you're a fraud. And like sooner or later, people are going to catch on and realize you actually don't know what you're doing. Imagine this uh, or unplugging those two ideas that the fact that you're feeling those things is not a function of you not knowing your purpose. It's, it's two completely different things. Certainly, knowing some details about why you're here, what, what archetypes you carry in terms of a personality or the life of uh, the, the arc of your life, like your life path, um, those things can fill in a lot of holes, but they still will not necessarily um, clean up all of those feelings or all of those. Uh, thoughts you might be having around feeling like you're off track or feeling like, you know, you're uh, unworthy or you don't know enough, you're not enough, right? The two things are separate because I can promise you that even if I gave you a, a little printout of, you know, this is your purpose, 
right? And it says there, you are here to um, experience universal love, or you are here to be blessed, or you are here to embrace change. Um, just knowing that wouldn't be enough. Because yeah, you could take that little piece of paper, you could go sit on your couch or your meditation cushion and sit with it and be like, okay, well, that's cool. But you would still feel called to do something with it, right? You would feel called to want to take action somehow. And that's that's what counts is the taking action. And there's a reason why you are called to the things you're called to. There's a reason why you love doing and being the things you love doing and being, right? There's a reason why certain things light you up. There's a reason why people become plumbers or dentists or coaches or healers or teachers because that's what's within them that wants to express out. And especially now in our world, things have changed, right? Especially for our younger generations. There's no longer this idea that if your grandfather was a cobbler and made shoes and your father was a cobbler and made shoes that you now have to be a cobbler and make shoes right or because your father or your mother was a doctor you now have to be a doctor uh right you get the idea um definitely there can be that um pressure from family or from uh your you know your sphere of influence to take a job or be in a career that maybe doesn't align with who you are so it does exist but there is more freedom to do what you want to do, right? Our world is changing as a whole. Jobs don't exist in the same forms as they used to. They're, you know, that whole idea of like getting a job and working until retirement and then retiring is kind of becoming a myth. So we have more freedom in our Western world. I'm not saying absolutely everywhere in the world, but here in our context, we have more freedom to explore what lights us up and pursue those things and serve in the way that really aligns with who we are. Um, and through that, becoming fulfilled. Through that, learning more about ourselves. Through that, um, not only giving to others, but then also being able to receive in return. And doesn't that sound like fulfillment? Like, doesn't that sound like you, you would, if you live a life where you allow your heart and your intuition to guide you and you show up for yourself, right? You include yourself in the service that you offer, um, where you love yourself just as much as you love others. Um, doesn't that sound so purposeful, right? It sounds like, like a beautiful contribution made. And if you are someone who who is pursuing life in that way or work, right, where, where even uh, work is becoming more sort of intertwined with life, it's definitely we need separation where we've got, you know, a family life, a work life. But those two often meld, especially if you're someone who works from home or, or works remotely, those two things can overlap. And so if you are showing up to your, your relationships at work, to your relationships in your life, with that wholeness, that um, perspective that, well, this is just going to teach me something and, and I'm going to learn, I'm going to grow and expand. And it doesn't matter if I make a mistake because that's the whole point, right? Sometimes we need to fall down a bunch before we're like, oh, <laughs> I get it. I can do it this way and look at what I've learned and look at who I've become. So all of that could be summed up as a purposeful life but you don't necessarily have to know the details or like the, the overall theme, right? It, it, that isn't as important as do you love yourself as you're living your life? Do you love yourself as you're working in all your relationships, right? Are you including yourself as one of the most important components of your life? Do you fully believe and embody and embrace this idea that you are whole, worthy enough and divine just because you are, that you don't actually have to do anything to earn that. There's nothing to earn. You already are that. Anything you do from that place contributes to the world and is a potential for fulfillment for you. So I dare say that we want to know our purpose, mostly because we want to know that we are contributing and that we can become fulfilled through that contribution. So if you already are fulfilled 
or working towards fulfillment, right, by contributing in whatever way, then you are fulfilling the purpose of whatever reason why you're here. So how is that landing, first of all? Is it, do, do you agree with me that purpose and contribution aren't necessarily the same, is it the, <laughs> the same thing? Purpose and fulfillment are not necessarily the same thing at all. And we could forget about purpose and still contribute and still do the other things that we find fulfilling that help fulfill others, right? Never knowing any details about, you know, the purpose of, of why we're here. Now, I get it, right? If, if, especially here in our Western world, we're big thinkers, the mind is something that sometimes can um, run away with us, right? I don't know about you, but sometimes um, my mind just won't shut up. <laughs> so it's a lifelong practice to wield the mind and trust the mind, right? In addition to your intuition. So there are details that I love to offer my clients about their purpose, mostly to soothe their mind and put their mind at ease that um, they are on track, which is why I love to teach the courses I teach, you know, how to access your own Akashic records and really have your soul wisdom as if on speed dial, because it allows you to tap into that higher self, that, that wisdom that is always available to you. And what that does is it validates a lot of who you are already. And it tends to validate a lot of what it is that you want to do and how you want to work and live. And so it just puts your mind at ease that, yes, in fact, you are contributing. Yes, in fact, you are like you are already enough, you know enough. And I find it puts my clients um, into a place of wanting to grow and wanting to expand from that place of like, I'm already enough but I want to do this anyway. I want to grow and expand and learn this thing. And it's okay if I make mistakes. It's a very different place to create from than that place of um, I'm not enough. I don't know enough. I need this other thing to fulfill me. And so that's why I'm going to make the choices I make, right? Very different. And sometimes it can be a very subtle difference between the two energies. So I invite you to, to consider this how do you relate to this idea of purpose? How do you feel about it? Do, do you feel like um, not knowing in great detail what your purpose might be is stopping you in any way? Is it causing you to hide in some way? Because if it is, then let's have a conversation. I have so many tools that will not only help you to, like I said, ease your mind about here's some details about that. Um, but also clear your body, clear your energy field and really help you to um, like align yourself with who you already are and see and feel all the ways in which you've always been fulfilling your greatest purpose here, your calling, whatever you want to call that, right? You don't need all the details, simply some validation for who you are and what you've already done so that you feel at ease and you can... Um, just embody more of the confidence that is within you already because you are enough, you are whole, you are worthy, and you are divine. So I invite you to try this on. Try on this idea that just because you feel like you might not know your purpose in detail doesn't have to stop you. It doesn't have to even slow you down at all. If you put the, the whole idea of a purpose in a box on the shelf and sort of left it there for a while and just did your thing, lived your life, um, did your work, you know, showed up in your relationships, did all the things you love in life, how would that change? Would that give you permission to just be yourself and to see yourself? I bet you a million bucks it would. <laughs> I bet you it would. So try it out. See how that changes your approach to everything and um, I invite you to join my email list. You can go to sacredfame.com, put in your name and email. And I would love to connect with you there because email to me is one of the last intimate places on the internet where we can really find beautiful community. And I send out all my special offers, my greatest soul wisdom to my email list every week. 
And I look forward to seeing you there. See you next time on the podcast.